Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting going to episode 3 of season 3 of Blue Exorcist. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1. Hey, for all we know, it could be you. I feel like in the end, all the girls are going to be taken for. Poor baby. Oh. Poor Shima. Well, you just go with the guy. I would still take Shemi. I mean, even though she isn't a student, but... Damn, at least take her. It'd be nice. She's right, though. can't always play around. Oh. <laughs> Ren, really? <laughs> but they're the type that don't want to take it every single year, every other year. Excuse me. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Who else can you ask? Is he finally gonna get the recognition that he deserves? Cause like, bruh!
Because once again, biggest freaking mystery. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you guys. You too? Oh, you dick. You don't want to make a girl cry and then like with turning her down, you just automatically say yes. I thought it was going to punch him. Yeah. <laughs> Run. I, I mean, you could have asked her right then and there. Damn. so pretty right there like oh my baby my baby oh my god <laughs> Well, we just hope and pray Rin can ask her in time. Yeah, here we go. I want to go with you. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Nothing. You okay? Mm -hmm. 
but Right, but because of the fact that she's like, oh, I'm gonna ask your brother. I mean, you know, it's you can tell from there. Even though he's the youngest. Once again. Yes, you! Yep, let's go! Still, I wouldn't take that. Mm, liar! Because she likes you! I mean, you know, he had, though. You and your brother like her. Mephisto. I mean, you could. Well, I mean, he tried to, but, you know. And it's okay if you like both. There you go. I mean, because I do too. That's right. What, what else is he supposed to do? <laughs> We're literally in the fuck love situation. Be like, I'm focusing all of my time on me. <laughs> I mean, you know, 
Shemmy, if you really want to know, you just ask him. Got to make that fucking grand entrance. <laughs> no, man. No, oh my god!
stop. Oh my god. Now. What do I have a feeling? Th this is going to be the last time that these three are going to ever truly be happy. I, mean, I don't know what's going to happen after this, but oh my god. Well, that's not good, whatever that means, <laughs> but I'm guessing we're not going to get context on that until next week. Okay, once again, because it's been like this since season one, we know the situation of Yukito, Rin, and Shemi, and the fact is, like, I, I think now it's kind of really more still, once again, canonized on the Rin and Shemi, because, like, you you've seen shippable moments between those two and you're just waiting for them and it's the well they won't they dance and you're wondering oh when the heck is it gonna happen is it gonna happen today tomorrow next year five years from now 10 years from now 20 years from now who knows i mean as someone who has not really read the series i think the last thing i saw something on it it was shimmy had like a monologue moment excuse me but I didn't know if it was her specifically talking about Rin, wanting to get with Rin, wanting to get with Yukiko, but th those are things that we're really wondering about her. Because in the end, yes, she has to choose between the two. I, I mean, yes, she can have both if she really wants to. We've seen that situation time and time again with other shows and everything else, but I, I think the canon thing is her and, and Rin does it. But it was cute to see the three of them dance. Um... But the shit that uh, Izumu has, that Nimu has on her, what the heck is the mascot for? Of course it's something super important to her because otherwise she wouldn't lash out on him like that and such. So whatever it is, hopefully, like I said, we do get context on that next Saturday. Um, now, <laughs> saying that someone in the Illuminati is secretly in this group watching over them and shit, um, two in one area, one here. Now, yeah, my money is a little bit on Mephisto because, you know, ever since episode one, strange AF, uh, you know, Mephisto's been strange AF ever since the beginning of the damn series, regardless. But he has his own mischief things and own things that, you know, he's secretly planning that we just don't know about yet. But it's a little, it would be a little too obvious for it to be him. And that's why we got to look at characters that you least expect it to be. So, of course, at the beginning, the guy who was talking that we saw last week in an episode one, he could be my, like, number one person. But he's friends with the other guy, the blonde guy, so mm, it's a little bit of yes and a no, maybe-ish. But who really knows? Um, honestly, no, I can't even think of anybody else, because we're only really three weeks into this. So, once again, could literally be anyone. But other than that, guys... That is my reaction to episode 3 of season 3 of Blue Exorcist. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join my squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode 4. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.